ಮಂಜುಲಾಜಿಚತುರ್ದಶೋಧ್ಯಾಚ ಯನಯ ಮಾಗತಾಗತಾಪಜಾಯಂತೆ ಗರ್ಭಂ ದಧಾಮ್ಯಹ ಸಂಭವಸ್ಸರ್ವಭೂತೇಯ ಅಹಂ ಬೀಜ ಪ್ರದ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸಂಭವಂತಿ ಮಹಾಬಾಹೋ so we were looking at the fifth shloka of this chapter where he introduced tattvam rajastama iti gunaha prakriti sambhavaha they are born of prakriti so we saw in detail the three gunas what they are i mean just an introduction to the fact that we need to know ourselves we have to know our creator our parents and the ultimate parents who are they are there any that question will come that question will come to many people many people who have had good lives or who have had traumatic lives both they will have question how did this all happen a casual a person who is calm can think like that or a person who has had a very tough life and who did, doesn't even know who their parents are doesn't even know and so who brought me here nobody is there to claim me and how did I, everybody has parents and i don't know who my parents that person also can ask the same question who am i 
of why did I come? Those kinds of questions will come. And so here, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is saying, we are children of Purusha and Prakriti. We are children of Nirgunam Brahma and Sagunam Brahma. It's not Dvaitam, okay? Don't take it, don't take it as Dvaitam. Because one is Satyam. We are children of Satyam and Mithya. Okay, Satyam and Mithya. Why we have to separate Satyam and Mithya like that? That's the catch. That is the whole Advaita Vedanta, correct? And uh, we are children of consciousness and matter. Okay. So, we are children of unchanging and changing mind, right? And so, because change means Janma Mrityu and the human mind is always going to ask, am I subject to Janma or Mrityu or and Mrityu? This question will come sooner or later. And so, when the question comes, the answer to that is yes. This Shariram is a product of Prakriti, will have Janma and Mrityu. And then you have to separate out that consciousness from this body mind sense complex. And uh, that is Atma, that is Nirgunam Brahma. And that has no Janma, no Mrityu. We have to come there. Otherwise, otherwise we'll try to find escape from this world. Every other idea is an escape. Because an intelligent person can ask the question, Hey, if I have to go to heaven to get what I want, why I can't get it here? That particular thing. Why, why this detour? Why should I take a detour? Uh, did I take the detour or did Bhagavan ask me to take the detour like that? Some question if they ask. Then Shastram has answers to that. And so, yeah, there are certain things that you can get only in Swarga. Yes, for that you have to go to Swarga. No aging is there, they say. No aging. Hey, that's that's I think that's pretty neat. Here, so much money, billions, trillions of dollars are being spent to I don't know whether to say prevent aging, but at least to make us look as though we don't age. That much they're doing quite good. They're, they're, I have to give it to them. They're doing quite good. But preventing aging and all, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. And so there's a lot of research going on, which is fine. And uh, but then, yeah, maybe in Swarga, aging will not happen. But then, nobody told us. These people don't tell us that there is a visa. Visa expiry date is also there, and ex visa will expire when the middle of Ramba Urvashi's dance also. And suddenly, <laughs> you're enjoying Ramba Urvashi, and suddenly gone. From there, gone. Why? What happened? That, that, that's it. Over. Your time's up. Right. So this is called Anityam. So, you can't argue with him. Hey, wait a minute. There's no aging means there can't be death also. No, there's no time to argue. <laughs> that time when you're enjoying Ramba's dance, how are you going to think about Vedanta or what? <laughs> no chance. And so, oh, we are children of these two. And these two are inseparable. That also we saw. We know that since, we know, since our pot comes in handy. And so, clay and pot are inseparable. The two objects, as though two objects, inseparable objects, right? And so, uh, and therefore, here, we, uh, Sattvam Rajasthama Iti Gunaha Prakriti Sambhavaha Nibadnanti Mahabaho. Hey, these things by nature are binding. By nature. Even the sattvic person also is bound. Is bound to whatever that person is attracted to calmness, quietness, ability to think, all that is there. And that person also will get perturbed if those, those desires are not fulfilled. Right? And so, therefore, I am forced to seek something which is is there something gunatita? Is there something that is nirgunam? Is there something that has no guna? Yes. That question is a good question. Because Shastram is going to say, I am the Gunatita. Tat Tvam Asi. Tvam Gunatita Ha Asi. Like that, Shastram will say. And so what about all these things then? Everything is binding. So I should run away from all this. No. Use all these things properly. 
Use all these things for your benefit, for your antakkarana shuddhi. Right? That's what Shastram will say. And so, for that pursuit, we need rajas. We need sattvam. We need to take rest also at the proper time. So, the tamas also has to be used properly. Simply keeping awake or sleeping long time and all that, he's going to talk about later. All that won't help. And so, that's the idea here. Otherwise, we are only managing the sorrow. Managing sorrow. We need to learn to manage sorrow, no doubt. Manage ill health. All these things are there. It creates a lot of, lot of disturbance. Yeah. So, we are going to manage all that. And uh, Shastram will say, you are managing the balance of Sattvam, Rajas and Tamas. Correct? And so, gastroenterology and then pulmonology and thisology and thatology. So many ologies are there. And so constantly we are going to the right place, hopefully, to get all these things in balance. And if things don't get balanced from allopathy, then they say go to homeopathy. Then otherwise they say go to naturopathy. And then finally run around and say, uh, they'll say you have to go to psychopathy. You know, all these things they say. But anyway, some pathy is available, fortunately for us. And for the, the right doctor and the right pati, that pati will help us manage our difficulties. But then Shastram says, it's going to take us beyond managing. Okay, And so that's the subject of this 14th chapter. And uh, we are a mixture of Purusha and Prakriti. That mixture, we call it as Ahankara. Not the word for it, Ahankara. Ahankara. Because there has to be an individual who has to make sense of all this. Who has to get confused and has to get deconfused. Both have to happen. And so, there must be somebody who has to say, I'm confused. Okay, who is confused? Body is confused. Mind is confused. Sense organs are confused. What is confused? That becomes the starting point of inquiry. And so, that's how the story goes. And... Uh, Shastram uses words like chida bhasa, skit reflected in this body, reflected in this mind. Reflected in the mind. And Shastram will say, don't take the chida bhasa to be absolute. It's needed. Ankara is needed to lead a life. And but Ankara is needed. Umsam Advaita Vasana. And so it needed to ask the right questions. And so, the, 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 it's like a mirror, like an image in the mirror, just like you never take the image in the mirror to be yourself. It's all dirty and dirty. spots are there. What? My space has spots? I never, I'm very, then you find, oh, okay, that's a mirror, problem with the mirror. And so like that, like that, we have to not take things happening Experiences can't be taken literally as myself that we've seen before. And so, this is the introduction to our Shloka number 14, 14.5, uh, 14, right? All three gunas are there and they're all bandhakas. Bandhakas means they are binding. They are of the nature of binding. Nipadnanti. You know what? In, in the Saudi Arabia, the one of the punishment they have is uh, what one of the punishment? It's all gross and beheading. Behead. Even last year, if you look up, beheadings and all happened there. Comes comes on the news. And nobody can do anything to them. And so We'll still do business. Business is different. You have to keep all that. Dharma and all aside. When you do business, business you get. So these guys, there was long ago, some 20, 30 years ago, there was a prince. And the prince committed a, he killed somebody. He killed his uncle or something. Therefore, he was found out. And he was beheaded. But then you know what? He was beheaded with a golden sword. Okay? Golden sword. So don't don't say he was murdered, killed, and all that. Golden sword, right? So that's a different kind of death. So no, all deaths are same. 
whether it is golden shackle or golden sword or whatever, it's all the same. And so that is the difference between sattva, rajas and tamas. What do you want to be bound by? But then we will say, okay, sattva is, is preferable because it will take us to Antakkarna Shuddhi, it will take us towards the Shastra. And so that opportunity is high with Sattva Guna Prathana Purusha, right? All right, so let's look at the meaning of this shloka. <clears throat> I don't think I gave the translation, did I? Yeah, I did not. Okay. <clears throat> Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. Hyphen. These are the three gunas born of Prakriti. Post up. They bind, they bind within brackets you can say as though, as though, they bind as though the changeless self in the body, the changeless self in the body. Kama, Arjuna. Arjuna, the mighty arm. Uh, the word Arjuna can be in brackets if you want. Tattva, Rajas, and Tamas hyphen. These are the three gunas born of Prakriti. Full stop. They bind as though the changeless self in the body. Arjuna. The mighty armed. Okay. Next look. <clears throat> Patrasatvam nirmalatvahat. Patrasatvam nirmalat. Nirmalatvahat. Patrasatvam nirmalatvahat. Prakashakamanamayam. Prakashakamanamayam. Sukhasangena badnati. Sukha Sangena Bhagnati Jnana Sangena Chanagha Gnana Sangena Chanagha Again, Tatra Satvam Nirmalatvat Tatra Satvam Nirmalatvat Prakashakamanamayam Prakashakamanamayam Sukha Sangena Bhagnati Sukha Sangena Bhagnati Ana Sangena Chanaka Gnana Sangena Chanaka Yeah. <clears throat> so here, Sattvam Raja Tama. So next few shlokas. He's going to dedicate one one shloka each to explain. Explain about each of these gunas in this shloka, sattvam, tatra sattvam, tatra among those three, sattvam, like that he's going to say. And he's going to tell two things about the gunas in each of these shlokas. First one is, what is the guna? What is the, what is the, what is the quality of the guna? What is the job of the guna? Okay, what is the definition? What is the lakshanam? Lakshanam, he will say. And then he will tell you in what way it binds. In what way it binds. So, bandhana prakara. Bandhana prakara and lakshana. Two things he will say. Okay. 
So let's take a look at. <clears throat> so among those three gunas that I've already mentioned, Sattvam, Rajas, Sattamas, He Anagha, listen, He Anagha, Agha, Agha means one who is sinful is called Agha, Anagha, one who is not subject to sin at all, Papa at all. That's a beautiful word. No papi, no question. In our culture, there's no called papi gale and all. Papi and all, no chance. Only in other. In Christianity, they can tell. A hey, papi, you're a papi. No. In our culture, even the even the rank criminal can't be addressed as a papi. Can't address. Shastra doesn't allow us to do that. You can, in anger, you can say all kinds of things. But fundamentally, he or she also is not a papi. That is what here. Anag. And we saw this word before. And where did we see it? Mayanaga. So, Ashochanan Masho Chestam first Shloka. Pragyavadam Chabasha se Gata su Nagata su Chet. Nanus, oh no, Nanus Ochanti Pandita. No, Mayanaga doesn't come there. It comes where, you know? Alokes Mindivida Nishta Pura Prokta Mayanaga. That's where it comes. Yeah. Third chapter, first, not the second chapter. All right. So, <clears throat> Maya Anaga there he is. So, Tatra Sattvam Nirmalatvat. Nirmalatvat. Prakashakam. Okay, let's look at Prakashakam. Prakashakam. Prakashakam means what? It is of the nature of producing prakasha, producing brightness, producing illumination, producing clarity. It is of the nature of clarity. Gives clarity. The human being is constantly looking for knowledge, whether the person knows or not. Person is going in the bus, traveling the bus, especially in India. These things, India example is good because I can't give the US example now. Because in the bus means you must be able to see things, all kinds of activities are happening. And, and suddenly there is, a, so, I mean, US also okay anyway. Then something, the whole traffic is stopped. Traffic is stopped and traffic is slowed down. And then they look at the other side. Something happened. Some accident. And everybody is looking like this. They are not going to know anything much because the traffic is moving. But you need to see, oh, something happened. The truck and this car and that thing, there is a train involved. Everything is there. So it's you have to know. You have to know what's, what, what, what happened, what happened, what happened. Nobody knows what happened, really speaking. It's an accident has happened. So it's, it's very obvious what happened. But that desire to know you can never, you can never, you can never handle somebody telling you, what, you don't know even this much? You don't know even this much? Yeah. So that we, nobody can handle. No human being can handle that. And so Prakashakam, of course, here Prakashakam applies to the Sattva Guna. Even the average person also wants to know. But here, that capacity to know is at the limit. Sattva guna pradhana. If that is what, that guna is what gives that, gives the tendency to be calm, tendency to be contemplative, tendency to, tendency to probe. Probe. When somebody, when you probe into something, you have to have the staying power. Staying power must be there. For some time, you have to be able to stay with it. Only then you can understand something substantial. And so, that that guna sattva gives that prakashika guna is there. Otherwise, the raja will come and rajas will come and disturb, disturb karta hai. So that the, 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 the boring. No, that's it. Enough. Everybody has that. It's too much enough. But then, for some people, can stay with, stay with. And why does it do that? Nirmalatva, nirmalatva, because sattva is. Sattva is pure. Pure means what? Pure calmness it is. It is just purity, nirmalam. It's pure. 
And so it gives that power of its purity by making the person, giving that person calmness and the ability to think. And, and sometimes it's called Shuddha Sattvaha. Shuddha Sattva means not predominated, not affected by rajas and tamas. Okay. Okay, not affected by rajas and tamas. Rajas and tamas, if they are too much, then it will affect, then sattva will be suppressed, but unsuppressed, uncontaminated, dirmalatvat, unpolluted by, by the other gunas. And because of that, it becomes a source of prakasha. Right? And uh, Sattvam. Sattva means what? The word Sattvam itself is when Sattvam is Pradhanam, is what we should, within brackets, you have to say Pradhan. Because always balancing act, right? Sattva and Rajas and Tamas are playing a game here. They are playing a game constantly. Playing a game. It's like parents, three children are there. Each has a different characteristic. And so parents have to manage these children. How will they manage? They have to be very creative. But he is important. Go do that there. Wait a minute. You come and study. You have an so they have to constantly, the parents are, <laughs> parents become, I think it's good to have children. You become a good manager. Then you, at work also, you do well. All the single people coming to work and all, they, they don't understand all this at all, completely. <laughs> and so, Prakashakam uh, Anamayam Anamayam and uh, this word should not be new to you because Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Sattu Niramaya Amaya. That same Amaya only here also. Sarve Sattu Niramaya. Let people all be free from disease. That's the idea. So here also, Anamaya. Anamaya means what? Not that Sattva has disease and all. It means sattva is also unpolluted by rajas, etc. It's harmless. Okay. It's it has no nothing that can affect you in a negative way. Okay, that's the idea. Anamayam. You can say anamayam means uh, it's a harmless. It's free from any affliction, disease. That can, things that can that can negatively impact. It's free from that. Okay, anamayam. So you remember that's niramayaha. Now he says sukha sang. But then the sattam is so good. Yes, I like it very much. I also want to be like that. But then sukha sange na badnat. Sukha sange na badnat. Sattam also is by has this binding nature. And how by creating an attachment with Sukha. Sukha means Sattva Sukha here. Pleasure born of this thinking. Pleasure born of calmness. Pleasure that is born of just thinking about things. Deeper thought. Analyzing. Analysis. Pleasure born of that. And so that, that be, I, am, I, I become addicted to that. Addicted means what? I want that. Anything that stops me from getting that, I will upset me. It will upset me. Why it will upset me? Why it will upset me? Kama yesha krodha yeshaha rajoguna samudbhavaha. There, rajoguna samudbhavaha. But here also, if I don't get that quietude, then, then I am bound by it. That is the idea here. There is no, no option here. So it's a good kind of dependence, better than dependence on rajas and tamas. But still that also is a golden shackle like pandhanam. And then further, further jnana sange na cha anagha. Jnana sange na. Very interesting. Because it is of the nature of knowledge. Knowledge itself means sattvam. And only a tattvika pradhana purusha can really Really advanced knowledge, can really teach, can really share that knowledge. Love to share also is sattva guna. Love to share. 
hey, I don't what will I gain by keeping all this with me? Some people have to know I'm going to move on from here and the knowledge will stay. Knowledge stays beyond our human life. Like that, that kind of thinking is there. And so, so jnana sangeda. That's why you put a research guy. Research guy wants to do research and pharmaceutical, this, that. And then he joins a company, research department. And then this company is so obsessed with marketing. Marketing is important. And they, they give all these marketing responsibilities to researchers. That's the end of this. The guy will be dissatisfied. He wants to go to go to the lab and then do some research. Okay. And that's, that's his idea. You make him talk to customers and this and that. He will get he will get dissolution very quickly. He says, This is not for me. This is not for me. Because they, they that guy can't handle all, all this customer service and all that. Customer service is meant for Rajo, Guna Pradhanaha coming next. Coming next, they like all these customer service jobs, okay? And uh, they will borrow a little knowledge from these researchers. Tell us a little bit. Just tell us a little bit about the product. Then we will we will make a Bhagavad Gita. Tell me two Upanishad sentences. I will make a Bhagavad Gita. That's what these Rajogunavarana people say. I'm getting a lot of ideas. Anyway. <laughs> so, Jnana Sangena Madhinati E Anagha. Like that he's saying. So the first line, what did he say? Lakshanam. That Lakshanam was said, Prakashikam. Was the Lakshanam of this Sattva Guna. And the second line, Bandha Prakaraha. The method of binding. Method of binding is what? Sukha Sangaha. Jnana Sangaha. Okay, that is the, that is how Sattva was, is being introduced by Krishna here. All right, let's translate that. <clears throat> Among them, Patra means among them, Sattva is illuminating and harmless. Sattva is illuminating and harmless due to its purity. Full stop. Okay, due to its purity. It binds by causing, it binds by causing attachment to pleasure. and by causing attachment to knowledge. It binds by causing attachment to pleasure and by causing attachment to knowledge. O oh, Arjuna. Let me repeat that. Among them, sattva is illuminating and harmless due to its purity. Full stop. It's in brackets. It binds by causing attachment to pleasure and by causing attachment to knowledge, Arjuna. So now the question will be, popular question will be there. Yeah, Mahesh. So where is this word uh, harmless? Anamayam. 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 I thought it was healthy or something. Anamayam, yeah. <laughs> In this context, we don't use the word. So it's, it's, we have to translate Chanag here, no? Uh, Arjuna is referred to as Chana. Ch Anaga. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you can say sinless, correct? Sinless, you can say. And the purity is the Oh, one who is free from Papa. One who is free from power. That is a way to literal translation. And the normal atom is uh, purity? Yeah, purity. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so now if you ask the question, 
Oh, therefore, studying the Shastram also will bind me. Oh, my God. Correct? No, no, no. Uh, Shatram also binds. So stay away from all this, you know. We, we, we are the best. We are very good when it comes to finding excuses. We are, we are waiting for an excuse, actually. We are just waiting for the right excuse. And we can't give a flimsy, you know, they say flimsy excuse. And so, uh, children sometimes they give flimsy excuses. And then, but we have to have a strong, good, justifiable excuse. And so, now, this kind of, yeah, that also is bad. True. true. Krishna's statement is true. But then this is the knowledge that liberates, that liberates me. And then I will I will say, yeah, that knowledge also, I will have the courage to say that knowledge also is binding. Until I know it, I need to know it. Only then I am free, totally free. Like that, I'll be able to say. All right. <clears throat> Guruji, then, one more thing. Yeah. Uh, so we call this pleasure which is kind of open to interpretation now. We say binding nature of play. Uh, yes, it, pleasure binds, of course. But is Sukha translatable as pleasure because it can easily be sense pleasure? Yeah, so Sukha created by Sattva. Only that type of Sukha. Sense pleasure will become Tamo, 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 tamo Je Sukha. Okay, Tamaguna created Sukha. So this is Sattva Guna created Sukha. Sattva Guna also creates Sukha. Okay, you solve the Sudoku puzzle, you feel very, very happy. Pleasure. Not sensory pleasure. It's absolutely not sensory pleasure. Correct? Your children went to college, everything they did well. And you, you worked hard for it also. It gives pleasure. Tell me, is it sensory pleasure? Is that nothing to do with senses at all? Not, nothing. And so that kind of sukham is what we have to. Yeah, if you don't like the word pleasure, if you find another word, let me know. Uh, we can use that. Happiness. Okay. Huh? Happiness. 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 Okay. All right. Happiness. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Ananda. Ananda. Yeah. Yeah. So we can use something like that. Happiness also. <clears throat> All right, next. Shloka number seven. Rajo ragatmakam vidhi. Rajo ragatmakam vidhi. Krishna sangha samudbhavam. Krishna sangha samudbhavam. Tanne badnati kaunteya. Tanne badnati kaunteya. Karma Sange na Dehinam. Karma Sange na Dehinam. In Rajo Ragat Makam Vidhi. Rajo Ragat Makam Vidhi. Krishna Sanga Samudhavam. Krishna Sanga Samudhavam. Tanni Badnati Kaunte. Tanni Badnati Kaunte. Karma Sange na Dehinam. Karma Sange na Dehinam. Yeah. So now Rajaha. Rajaha. That is the subject of this uh, shloka. Dehinam. Badinati. Yeah. So Rajaha Ragatmakam Vidhi. Vidhi. May you know. Here the word Arjuna is not there. Hey Arjuna, may you know, may you understand that the Rajas is of the essence, is of the nature of Raga. Raga. And so Raga means passion, attachment. It creates Raga. That itself, that Rajas itself means Attachment, that's what he's saying here. And Raga, this word Raga is interesting. It comes from the root called Ranj. Ranj, that is Sanskrit. And so you get, you know, Manoranjan and all, right? Manoranjan, Ranjani, all these words are there. That is, that is the root. 
ranj is a root for manoranjan so manoranjan is very important for this <laughs> for this for this raja pradana purushaha if you want to remember rajas you can remember it like that manoranjan chahiye if manoranjan stops this fellow is going to get fidgety he cannot handle it. something has to happen something has to happen and so this uh, that the ranja ranja means what he has to have something to be he has to be attached to some some activity must be there some activity must be there and uh, and similar word also we saw earlier which is asaktiranabhishvangaha abhishvangaha there Vishwanga, Putradara Grihadishu, like that in the last chapter, Krishna had said. There, what he said, A, hey, this Putra, Dara, and Griha, etc., the things that are closest to you, like children, family, basically, family, family and home. That's it. Home means that is the number one attachment for all of us. He, say, he cautions, he says, Putra, Dara, Grihadishu, Anabhishwanga. Abhishwanga means sticking. Sticking, just sticking, like like oil sticks to the sticks to the hands, like stick, sticky, like honey. Stick, honey. I think that's why they say honey. So sticking, sticking. That's called abhishwanga. Anabhishwanga. I said, make sure you don't stick. Make sure you don't stick. Mean ma, do what is to be done and just observe, like a sakshi observe. Things. That's all. And so that same ranj that is the root here. Root of the word raga. Raga atmakam means what? A the raga is the atma of that. Rajas is that whose atma is raga. Means what? Whose nature is raga. That is the meaning of the word atma. Atma means nature. Lakshanam. Raga lakshanam. Rajas is raga, raga lakshanam. It creates a sense of attachment. And that's uh, to things. To things and people. That's why this customer service and all, they, they love it. Like They love it. They love to interact. They love to talk. They love to engage. How are you? What are you? What do you like? What did you do? I did this. You did that. So that whole conversation, the Sattvika Pradhana people also may, may can engage in small conversation, but they can't take it for too long. They can't keep on talking about your vacation. You went this, did that, did that, did this, did that. I saw this the next day. We went there. Okay, 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 fine. You went for a vacation. You came back safe, right? Okay, okay, okay right. Uh, that's it over. Finished over. Oh, what more? A lot of things you did. And I got it. I got it all. I'm a thinker, okay? I got exactly what you said. Even if you talk for 15 more minutes, that's, I will come to the same conclusion. And they will move on. What next they will say? This guy just loves to talk. Loves to talk. That's why marketing people in my company, I remember. Half the time, they're not in the office. You can't put them locked in the office and all. You give them a nice cubicle, nice office and all. Still, it doesn't work. Nice office, you give to the research person. That guy will love the nice office. But these guys will constantly like to travel. Customer visit, they will say, and this and that. That's good. Say so they love to relate to things, relate to people. They like to travel. And so, it's because they, they like those things attract. attract. This guy, the Sattvika person is not attracted to anything, right? He is attracted to knowing. He is attracted to thinking. He is attracted to... It doesn't matter what it is. But I love to analyze, see the truth behind all these things, etc. And so... We saw in uh, Sangha Steshu Pajayate also, Sangha, Dhyayato Vishayam. Correct. Jayato. There also rajas you can break. Jayato Vishayan Pumsaha Sangaste Shupa Jayate. There, of course, generally he talked about. It, is, it applies to everybody. Even Sattva Pradhana Purusha. But you can bring here. You can bring rajas. Rajas there. Because rajas will bring the raga. Then Sattvam can come and say, wait a minute. Don't fall prey to it. Sattvam can come and say that. So, all right. So this this rajas will make the person pravritti pradhana purushaha. Pravritti means going towards active, dynamic. It makes the person pursue it. 
that thing or person, that situation, etc. Okay. Versus the Sattva guy. Sattva guy is Nivritti. Nivritti Pradhana Shaha. Nivritti. That guy will be, will love seclusion. That guy will love. You tell, you tell, you tell, uh, we're all going for a, for a, some group visit to Brindavan Gardens and this and that, you tell. You won't, may not attract this guy. Okay, you all go. You all go, he will say. Happily, he will say, you all go. Other guy will say, oh, really? That's a great idea. And how did you do this? And who is this? And what did you... All the details will become very important. This other person. The Rajas Pradhana Purushaha. And so, therefore, these people who who hire, you know, these hiring managers, human resources, they must be very knowledgeable in the psychology. Correct? They must be knowledge. Even the, the head, the people running the companies, if they, they only know the, about the technology, about the product, they'll be in trouble because they are not going to make the product. They need people to make the product. They need a whole organization. And that if the, the head who is knowledgeable about the psychology will be even more successful. Will be even more successful. Otherwise, the bad chemistry will ruin the company, right? And so, simply you can't hire anybody just like that. And so, that is this uh, Ragatmakam Vidhi. Then, Trishna Sangha Samudbhavam. Trishna Sangha Samudbhavam. And so, Trishna. Trishna means a desire, a longing. Longing. Krishna Sangha, that is born Tamadva. It is caused, it is caused by a desire. It, not an ordinary desire. Trishna, longing. I must have it. That is the nature of this Rajas. I must have it. That is why that it makes the person go after it. Okay. <clears throat> and so person becomes ambitious. Ambition is good. But what your ambition is about, how you are doing things are all become important. That's why Sattva has to come along with Rajas. Come along with Rajas. Otherwise, that ambition will make the person go astray. Okay. So, ambition, so desire, positions, marriage, um, and all are very important. Because not that marriage is not important for others. But it becomes critical. Critical. Sattva predominant people can handle being single. How about that? Can we say that? Can handle being single? Hey, okay, that's fine. I don't have a desire to marry. Somebody can say and then be happy with it also. Okay. But Rajas means uh, that person can be depressed. If the person is not married or if the marriage is broken, the person can get depressed. Will get depressed. Yeah. And so... That is probably why some our parents those days used to do this arranged marriage. Maybe they, their thinking is like this. These two people, when they you ask the guy whether you like her or whether you like her, like him or not, what will they do? On what basis can you like a person? On looks only you can like. Uh, looks only are available. That's the most obvious thing. So I don't like her, I don't like him, I don't like this, this is how it goes. And so maybe the parents thought, you know what, we'll have to bring some very advanced science into this and we'll bring something called astrology and palmistry and whatnot. And then we will find out whether there is a real match. The real match is this, this Triguna match. That is what they are doing. That is what the astrologer is doing. Trigunatmika match. That he is A-type, she is also A-type. In America, they have this A-type, B-type and all. I got exposed to these kinds of characters. Director, A-type. So A-type means always commanding and asking others to do things. Husband is asking wife to do things. Wife tells the husband to do things. <laughs> That's it. This house will not run. It will not run. And so somebody should say, okay, I'll do this, you go do that. And some compromise we have to have. And so... So there is maybe that some thinking was there behind all these things. But but then 
the desire that this guy has can be either selfless or it can be selfish desire. How? The rajas is going to make me get stuff, possess. Ambition is there, so I want to possess. But then, if that rajas is backed by sattvam, then the desire will be selfless. It will be for all of us. It will be for the community. It will be for the nation. It will be for the bigger, larger family. Not just for me. I want it, but not just for me. Whereas otherwise, tama, tama is uh, secondary means, then selfishness will take over. Take over that ambition. Same ambition, but selfish. Drive, selfishness drives their ambition. All right. And uh, Krishna Asanga Samudbhavam. That's the way to split this uh, one word, actually. It is only one word. It's a samasa. Krishna Asanga. So Asanga here means possession also. Possession. And Parigraha. Parigraham. Parigraha. Parigraha means possession. Possess. I want it. Somewhere we saw the word parigraha. Somewhere we saw it. Aparigraha. I think we saw it was aparigraha. Pariyarhete. Tasma da pariyarhete. Adevanda apariyarhete. Apariharhete. Is it one of the 20 qualities for anything? I don't know. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's part of Amanitwari. I don't think so. But you can look into it. Somewhere it comes. It's referring to a jnani. Aparigraha. Suddenly Krishna says, Hey, the guy doesn't need any. That's it. Whatever he gets. Referring to a jnani. Anyway, that's, we'll look it up later. Okay. Uh, so here, parigraha. Raga. Parigraha. Wanting to possess. Drive. Drive. Companies, companies love such people. Companies need people who have a drive. They have to go out. They have to be go-getters. Companies love go-getters. And simply sitting and thinking about the future and then just uh, talking philosophy and all. They don't like all these kinds of people. Philosophy, let, let uh, weekend. I'll come to your host, house to the, in the weekend. Then we'll talk about philosophy. Not in my company. Okay? And so, the desire... To acquire and possess the unpossessed. What I don't have, I want to possess. That is also the same Rajoguna. And what I possess, I want to embrace. I want to protect and embrace. That also is Rajoguna. Yeah. All right. So let's translate. Okay. So, Tannibadnati Kaunteya Karma Sangena Dehinam. Okay. Then Nibadna, okay, Lakshanam has been described. Lakshanam described. Now, in what way does, the, does Rajas bind? Yeah, Rajas also binds. Yes, he's going to say that. Tat Nibadnati. Tat means Rajas Nibadnati. He counted, yeah. By what? Binds whom? Dehinam. 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 Dehi. That Dehi. There is somebody inside this Deha. That person is called Dehi. Okay, and uh, how does it bind? Karma Sangena. Karma Sangena. Because the drive is there. The drive is there means by doing, by karma. It binds the person by making him do stuff, do things. By making him attached to activity. Mom, where are we going for dinner tonight? Then he'll come to the kitchen. This guy won't come to the kitchen to wash vessels. But he'll come to the kitchen to say, Mom, where are we going for dinner? I think you've been working hard in the kitchen for a long time. I think you should go out. And Mom, oh my God, my son is so worried about me. And she will just say, ha ha. And then quietly this guy takes everybody to dinner. That's how they work. And so... Uh, so... The guy, the lady who went to America, after two, three months, she just returned back to Coimbatore. And why Coimbatore? What happened? Since it's, it's, no, it's done, people are not talking to you. It's all, the streets are all empty. 
and they're all going to work and I don't have anybody to talk. I can't live like this. Two months, I one one month, two months, how much longer can I live like this? Coimbatore, I, my whole family is here. People are there. I can talk to anybody at any time. I can go to anybody's home at anybody's any time. That, that's how it is here. He came back to Coimbatore. <clears throat> then, the guy who went to New York also came back to Coimbatore after two months, three months, four months. Why? Because that guy loves seclusion. And there is no chance of living a secluded life in New York. And uh, that guy, at least Coimbatore, I had ashram. I can go to ashram anytime. And Isha is there. Asha is there. All this Asha, Isha, all these five-letter words. I don't know what is this. So anyway, that's different. Asha is there. Isha is there. And so I came back. Ran away. One fellow ran away because Satvic personality. Another fellow ran away because... Rajas personality, both of them ended up in Coimbatore. So we people have to deal with all this. Anyway, so this is how it works. Tan nibadnati kaunteya karma sangena dehinam. And so that means what? Karma is not good. I am bound by karma. Stop doing. No, you can't stop doing all that. Karma is important for life. And proper karma, sattva back to karma is important. Like the pole water example we gave the other day, Swami gave the other day. And pole is important. It binds you. It's important. But you have to use the pole to par aya. Par karne ke liye pole chahiye. I have to go. I have to cross. And uh, Shastram used the word crossing. And uh, samsara, sagara, par aya. Param karana aya. Okay. So, I have to drop the pole at some time. Yeah, you have to drop karma, but I have to use karma in order to drop karma. Okay? So, therefore, it may be binding, but I use it properly. <clears throat> karma yoga must be followed by jnana yoga. Karma yoga. Without karma yoga, there is no jnana yoga. No chance. And so, that's the idea here. Uh, Mahodaya? Yeah. Uh, Dehi is what is inside, that is Atma, right? So, correct. So, Dehi now. So, if you take Dehi as Atma, then the sentence is incorrect. Then the sentence is incorrect because he is talking about something binding Atma. If Atma itself is bound, then the study of Shastra is a waste. It's a waste. We might as well be doing something else productive, right? And so, so the, the, there is somebody who thinks who is who is bound. Somebody who is saying, I am bound. I am unhappy. I am this. I want to be free. I don't like my life. I need some help. That somebody. That somebody. Who is that somebody? That Ahankara. Ahankara. That Ahankara is bound. Atma can never be bound. If you say Dehi is Atma, then you have to say as though bound. Atma is as though bound, as if bound. Badnati eva, you have to say. Atma is not going to complain. The one who is complaining is not Atma, correct? See, the thing is this the body doesn't complain. Tense organs don't complain. Then the question is what? Is mind complaining or what? No, mind is just a storehouse of thoughts and ability to. Process the thoughts, manipulate the thoughts, dis make decisions, etc. It's an instrument, that's all. It's an antakarana. So, mind also won't complain. Then, who complains? That who is Dehi? That Ankara. That guy who has an entity, who does have an identity, who does say, I want this, I want that. I don't want this, I don't want that. That person is called a Dehi in this sloka. Correct? And in that shloka, Dehi means Atma. Which shloka? It came over a few, shlo few shlokas before where he, he said He knows Minyatha. He knows Minyatha. He knows Minyatha. Dehi. Ella. Dehi Nityama Vadhyoyam. Dehi Sarvasya Bharata. That, I was thinking of that. Dehi Nityam Avadhyoyam. That Dehi is Nityam and Avadhyaha, not subject to perishing. Okay? 
So that day he is different from this. Both words are same, identical words, all right, in Sanskrit, but different meanings we have to give. Okay, got that, Haraji? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> okay, it's already 7.35 here, all right. So let's translate this and uh, understand rajas to be of the nature of passion. Understand rajas be of the nature of Passion and to be the cause of and to be the cause of desire and attachment. See, these all words in English have very similar meanings. Desire, passion, attachments, you know, they're all similar meanings. Okay? And to be the cause of desire and attachment. Full stop. It binds the self. It binds the self by causing attachment to activity. It binds the self by causing attachment to activity. Arjuna. Okay. Understand rajas to be of the nature of passion and to be the cause of desire and attachment. Full stop. It binds the self by causing attachment to activity. Arjuna. Okay. We'll continue this. Om Apadama Pahartaram Dataram Sarvasampadam Loka Bhiramam Shri Ramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namam Yaham Om Apadama Pahartaram Dataram Sarvasampadam Loka Bhiramam Shri Ramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namam Yaham Om Apadama Pahartaram Dataram Sarvasampadam Loka Bhiramam Shri Ramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namam Yaham Om Purnamadaf Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om